and welcome back everybody it is a beautiful weekend I'm out of my garage working and thank you very much for joining me today I am going to revisit the oil filter magnetic um, attachment that I did about two months ago I've had it on my truck for about two months the first video I'll throw up a, a link right up at the top that was about two weeks so I wanted to go back and revisit it and see how effective it is so I'm gonna do it for I did it for two months pull the oil filter and see what it looks like. So let's get under this truck and see some results. All right, so last time when I did this test, I used an angle grinder or a disc cutter and a hacksaw to kind of just cut along here so I can expose with the magnet cap. But according to the comments, and I agree with, that some of those shavings while I cut across here might have contaminated the results. So this time, what I'm gonna try and do is cut along the seam with either some bolt cutters or some tin snips whatever works the best and see if I can cut this off and be able to take out the innards and just be able to see from the inside what kind of results I got what kind of filings if I got anything in here that was caught by the magnet so that's what I'm gonna do now try and see if I can get this open without creating any filings that fall in and contaminate the results so let's do it Alright, so that wasn't working out, but I did find what I can try. Uh, this is getting so messy. I thought I emptied this thing and it keeps running out more oil. Is I got that corner that I was able to cut and I got some vice grips on here. What I'm going to try to do is keep rolling this to get it open. So I got that corner rolled. Let him come on out. Man. And I'm going to keep doing this. <laughs> Clamp it back down. And keep rolling this corner to get this thing apart. But, of course, I'm going to oil everywhere. Oil on here, and it's making it hard to grip. Eventually... Alright, so half an hour later and a lot of muscling to get this thing off on the seam without getting shavings into the filter and it is complete. And here we go. Look at that. So I'm able to see in here. Looks pretty good. And then if I pull out this filter, come down to the bottom. Uh, let's see, I got some oil in there. Let's see if I can dump that out. So now we can see inside the filter, pull that out, and look at that. See if you can see a good view of that, I'll get a good close up. I still have shavings in the actual thing, and those are definitely, look at that. I can roll this around, and that is definitely metal shavings that the magnets caught. So, two months later, this thing was able to still catch particles. I did the two weeks before, now it's two months, it works. There's a lot of hating going on, yeah you can maybe try put another magnet on there or one of the, um, you know, a not powerful one like a regular magnet, but these are those powerful magnets and it sticks right on the filter. It's a pretty cool product. I'm impressed. I like it. So if you want one of those also, link is in the description. I like it. I'm excited. 
So, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching. Smash that um, subscribe button and turn on notifications. You always know when I got a new video up, unless I sneak them into the channel. Some of you have been noticing I've been doing that. So, definitely check me out. Thank you for watching. As always, ride safe, stay safe, and keep two wheels at least on the road.